So we've been talking about our Chinese Ming vases, and today we're on the last step, okay? And our last step is going to be adding all of the beautiful designs on our vases, okay? And if you remember, we talked about what sorts of designs were on the vases, and it was dragon designs, fish designs, flowers, and that the color should be dark blue. Well, we've already taken care of the dark blue stuff, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you're going to carve into it. You're going to finish this today, and I don't have the paper up here in front of me. Well, maybe I do. Let me see. Yeah, we can use this piece. Okay, so I'll show you exactly what I want you to do. Sound good? Yes? Yeah, no? Yeah. Maybe? Yes? Okay, perfect. Yeah. So let's go over here to the document camera, and I'm going to have to sit down. Okay, so today, with the exception of one or two people, everybody has their painted vase, okay? This is my example I've been using all week, right? So there's a little bit of stuff on it, okay? If you remember, I have some sheets for you to look at to get design ideas. You can look at this one. You also could look at the koi fish piece. If you remember, it shows you how to draw the koi fish, okay? So that's up to you. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna zoom in a lot so you can really see, is everybody's gonna get just a plain toothpick, okay? Toothpicks snap pretty easily and I don't have an endless supply of them. I do not want to see the toothpick in your mouth. I'm not providing mouth picks, okay? So what you'll do is hopefully you've done your sketch. Let's say I wanted to do, um, let's say I liked one of these borders. What about this like triangle looking one right here? So let's say I'm going to do that one, okay? So what I'll do is I'll go in here. I have a few people talking while I'm talking. <laughs> It's going to take a little bit of time. You got to be patient because it's not like drawing with a pencil. All right. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to start drawing my pattern. And as I do it, I'm going to color. Okay. Do you see how this works? Have you guys ever done anything like this before? No. All right. So about half of you say yes, about half of you say no. So some of us have experience and some of us are still learning and that's okay. I really want you to take your time today because if you speed through this, it's not going to look so great. And that's why you have two. So in case you sort of mess one up and you're like, oh, it's not what I meant to do, you have two. Once you're all done with your designs, what I want you to do is I'm going to have some black construction paper up here for you. Okay. You're going to take your black construction paper. Let me zoom out a little bit more. That's way better. Okay. Black construction paper. And you're going to glue your vase onto your paper. And I don't want it in the perfect middle, okay? You're going to pick one of your vases. I want you to decorate both. If both look good, you'll get two sheets of black paper, okay? If only one looks good, you're going to get one sheet of black paper. Put your vase off to the side and glue it down, okay? And then the very last step is I have some white crayons up here, okay? And um, I don't have it in front of me right now. But I'm going to have an alphabet of letters, Chinese letters, and I want you to write your name as best you can in Chinese letters up and down, okay? All right, so now listen. When you write, shh, I'm going to give you a tip. When you write with Chinese letters, we write up to down, okay? So you're going to start and go down. You don't have to write an arrow on your paper. I'm just doing that right now, right? So obviously I'm not going to write in Chinese letters right now because I don't have the alphabet in front of me. But if I did, I would start at the top and go down, okay? Uh, I'm writing my old name. I didn't write my new name, did I? See, even I messed up, okay? Yes, it was, okay? So that's what you're going to do today. I'll have glue out for you, okay? So you have all of that. So that's a lot going on today. I want you to look at the back for me. Turn your head and look. The glue gallon is b at the very, very back. Around the glue gallon are going to be a bunch of little cups with glue. Okay? And so you're just going to paint your glue 
onto your vase to stick it on, okay? All right, I only have one person in this class using paint today, is that correct? Yeah, yes, two. two people, okay. I want both of those people, I want everybody using paint to be at the same table. Let's make table three the painting table, okay? So, three, two, one, you know what you need to do. I have toothpicks, and let's go ahead and get started. Oh, you know what, it stopped working. I know, I've